Today's lesson will be answering the guiding questions, what major bodies of water are in the United States? How do those bodies of water contribute to the past history and present history of the United States? Also, what cities are located along the major bodies of water in the United States? All of the notes that you should be taking during this video are written in the font color purple on the slides. These words should be written on the next blank page in your history notebook neatly and organized so that you can go back and read them and learn from them. So, get your materials ready and let's get started. The major bodies of water in the United States include oceans, rivers, lakes, and bays. These bodies of water have brought about trade, transportation, exploration, and settlement throughout the United States histories. The St. Lawrence River connects the Great Lakes with the Atlantic Ocean. It forms part of the border between eastern Canada and the state of New York. Many explorers use this waterway as a water road into the unknown New World, hoping that if they followed it far enough west that they could get to the Pacific Ocean. Draw a water road next to your note on the St. Lawrence River. The Mississippi River starts in Minnesota and flows south for 2,320 miles until it drains into the Gulf of Mexico. This river is known for its use in trade because barges have shipped products up and down the river for over 200 years. Even today, commercial barge traffic is a common sight you will see along this mighty river. Important cities dot the shoreline of this river that include St. Paul, Minnesota, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, and New Orleans, Louisiana. The Mississippi River is famous for its large steamboats, which are recognizable by their big paddle wheels in the back. The farther south you go down the Mississippi, the more likely you are to spot an alligator. Many inland port cities were established along the shores of the five Great Lakes, Huron, Ontario, Michigan, Erie, and Superior. The first letter of each of their names spells out the acronym HOMES. The Great Lakes border the United States to the south and Canada to the north. The largest is Lake Superior, which is surrounded by the states of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan. Lake Superior is one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world. Along Lake Michigan, several large cities have been built, including Michigan's, Michigan's Green, or uh, Wisconsin, sorry, Green Bay and Milwaukee in Wisconsin, as well as Chicago, Illinois. Write the word homes next to your list of these five lakes. The Missouri River is the longest river in North America, winding 2,341 miles, and is also a tributary of the Mississippi River. It flows west to east, carrying farm and industrial products to different parts of the country. When Thomas Jefferson bought the Louisiana Purchase from France, the Missouri River came with it. For many years, this river was thought to be part of the Northwest Passage, a fictional water route that connected the Atlantic with the Pacific. However, when Lewis and Clark traveled up the Missouri River, they dispelled this myth. The Missouri was a long waterway west for many pioneers who came with their covered wagons to settle in the west draw two explorers canoeing down the river next to this note. The Rio Grande River forms part of the United States border with Mexico and flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Its name in Spanish literally translates Big River. Cities along the Rio Grande include Albuquerque, New Mexico, El Paso, Texas, and Juarez, a prominent city on the Mexican side of the river. The Rio Grande River is an important body of water that transports products into the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is a large bay that borders the southeastern border of the United States and the eastern border of Central America. This body of water merges with the Atlantic Ocean and was first explored by the French and Spanish. Oil has been found in the ground underneath the Gulf of Mexico and several companies drill for oil in this area. Draw an oil well next to your note 
on the Gulf of Mexico. The Spanish explorers used the Colorado River as a water route when they were exploring the Southwest. This river starts in the state of Colorado and flows from the Rocky Mountains into the Pacific Ocean. Because it is so dry in this region, the Colorado River supplies those that live there with water for a living as well as for farming. The Colorado River flows through the Grand Canyon and is known for its white water rapids. Draw the Grand Canyon and some rapids next to your note on the Colorado River to remember that these ideas go with this river. The Columbia River is the westernmost river explored by Lewis and Clark when they were sent by President Thomas Jefferson to map out the west. This river flows from Canada to the Pacific Ocean. Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Washington are both large cities that border this river.